tonight Let's go to far off places And search for treasures bright Come drink with me tonight Let's build a giant airship And sail into the sky Let's watch the ground so far below Let's watch the birds as they fly by Fly so high Come dream with me tonight not gonna get away with this. Give me back my gold! Oh. Hey, Twink, are you still hanging around? <laughs> I demanded to give me back my gold! But it was a wet person! <laughs> me give it back or, or you're fired! Who cares? Now that we're rich, we quit! You stay out of this, you horn-headed harpy! <laughs> Did you hear what he called me? I sure did. <laughs> if I knew what it meant, I'd probably be really angry. Well, so long, Twix. No, no, wait. I'll be huh? Oh, you, you can keep the... Ouch. Go! <laughs> Shores in a land of ying and step on it. <laughs> That's right. And watch this. Oh. 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 And this is the decoding tray. It allows us to read the crystal book. This book was written a long, long time ago now continues the written record of Wyma the Illiper, humble scribe to the court of King Philbin, defender of the Illiper realm. In the 20th year of King in Philbin's, Philbin's reign, reign, we journeyed to the hard-to-find city seeking aid from an older civilization. A great drought had stripped our land of crops. King Philbin offered tribute and begged for help to save his subjects from starvation. They asked the Gatangs for help? I don't think so, Grubby. Listen to this. We were overwhelmed by the kindness of the inhabitants of that place. They revealed to us the wonders of their city and the powers of their amazing crystals. They constructed vast underground aqueducts to carry water. Our kingdom was saved by the knowledge of the Kind Ones, for that is how we called them. And when the Kind Ones ran out of farmland of their own, they did not make war upon their neighbors, but developed underwater farming techniques and grew food at the bottom of Leaky Lake. And they gladly shared their surplus food with their lesser neighbors. Thus it was that the peanut and a leafy green called lake lettuce became staple foods throughout Grundo. Heavens to Grundo! That explains those mysterious uh, uh, tunnels in King Enogbert's moat. And the tunnels from Leaky Lake. And those same guys must have invented the subwater boat, and your diving suit, and, and, and gobs of other stuff. <laughs> Boy, this is almost as exciting as discovering root stew. <laughs> it's a long story, folks. I wouldn't know where to begin. Well, it all began the day we met Newton Gimmick, and he showed us this fantastic invention. Eh, uh, why, uh, yes. It was my uh, airship that made the start of our adventure uh, possible. That's right. It got us to the hard-to-find city, where we discovered the crystals. There with our new friends, Prince Aaron and Princess Arusia, we discovered the crystals. 
This one says imagination. Oh. This one says honesty. And this one bravery. Trust. Friendship. Freedom. Freedom. Oh. Just sniff that scum. From now on, whenever I smell swamp scum, I'll think of you. <laughs> uh, I'd like to say welcome to the pig out arms, but nobody is. Did you have reservations? Uh, no. But we do have serious doubts. <laughs> uh, very funny. <clears throat> Just wait till you see your bill. <clears throat> now that's really a joke. I'll be back when I feel like it. Bum up a tea, hornheads. Isn't this place romantic? <gasps> yeah, and it's right next to the dump. And it's famous for its poor service. That waiter kind of reminds me of Tweez. Only he's not as dumb. Who is? I wonder what our ex-boss is up to. Somehow the seashells turned into gold. Oh, but buttermilk also turns into gold, so I need buttermilk seashells. Or, or is it sea milk butter shells? What are you clowns staring at? Can't you see I'm going mad? Do something! Oh, insult me for crying out loud! Uh, okay, um, what's black and white and red all over? That's not an insult! That's a riddle, you nincompoop! Oh. Oh, <laughs> when it comes to insults, none of you can hold a burnt-out candle to LB and Buffy! Yeah, we miss them too, boss. I discovered the uh, uh, power of the first crystal when I plugged it into my uh, uh, artificial sunlight machine. Oh my! It shrunk us smaller than the uh, elves. Oh. The gimmick's pet fob, Fuzz, tried to have us for lunch, but we got away. <laughs> machine, we would never have been able to rescue the crystals from Mavo. Do all the crystals make things smaller? No, just the first one. The second one duplicates things. Yeah, remember the time Gimmick duplicated me with it? Discovery allowed us to duplicate soldiers and save King Nogbert's kingdom from a Gatang invasion. And when you discovered the third crystal made things invisible. us to rescue Fuzz. I remember that. So do I. That seemed to be our week for rescues. <laughs> yes, we also rescued the crystals from the bottom of Leaky Lake. And oh. you recovered Queller's a, a black box, leading to the discovery of the seventh a, a crystal. I wonder if Queller's found out that he doesn't have the seventh crystal anymore. You see, my pets, the cracked crystal is gone. If any of the Marvel morons discover this, our power as supreme oppressor will be gone. Ruxpin and his friends must have it. They were last seen flying south from Bounder Pass toward Rilonia. <laughs> Find them, my pets. Bring the cracked crystal to me. <laughs> Are our newlyweds having an absolutely marvy time? 
Yeah. yeah. Uh, don't worry, we can fix that. Uh, here's today's paper. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. The Grando Gazette. Wrong. It's the Ying Yacker. Oh, I love this place. You want to see the funnies, honey? No, thanks. I'd rather you read it to me. <laughs> well, now, let's see. Dateline Mavo HQ. Mrs. Magahart said today, we will not tolerate this lax behavior any longer. Jack W. Tweeg, pay your dues or else. So, what else is new? Yeah, here's something else. A report that Tweeg has lost his mind. And they call that news? A terrible monster had me trapped beneath the water. I would have been done for if it hadn't been for the crystals. So that's what the fourth crystal does. It makes oxygen. And that's where I become part of this amazing story. Yes, you saved me from the monster. And then we found the incredible subwater boat. Yes, the subwater boat proved quite useful in solving the uh, uh, problem of King Nogbert's uh, mysterious drought. You mean you meant to go fooling around in all those dangerous tunnels? Oh, well, actually, uh, uh, the uh, king and I became, uh, <laughs> it lost. <laughs> <laughs> and all this time I thought you went exploring and you just didn't want to take us along. <laughs> what else can the crystals do? <laughs> well, the fifth crystal can make you move real slow. Real fast if you've got quick thinking friends. <laughs> but the special discovery I made is that the sixth crystal can fly. If you accidentally spill orange juice on it. <laughs> the crystals can do lots of wonderful things, Liza, but I'm most grateful for the power of the seventh. So am I, son. What does it do? Well, it has the power to erase a memory or restore it. For 10 years, I wandered through Grundo, unable to remember my home or my wonderful family. I would have stayed that way forever had I not met three wonderful friends. I, I remember waving goodbye to my beautiful wife, Elana, and our baby son. Elana? And what was your son's name? My son's name was Teddy. And that's why Mavo must never get possession of the crystals. In their hands, their power would be used to spread evil across the land. That's why I'll do everything I can to keep the crystals safe for as long as I live. And I'll help you, Teddy. Yeah, so will I. <laughs> but who could have made these, uh... Crystals? Yeah. Who made them in the first place? Well, we don't know. But maybe the answer is in this book. I'll keep reading. The seventh crystal, crystal made, made it possible for the kind ones to store knowledge in a memory library. In it, the achievements of this great civilization were recorded. There's just a little more, but desolation and despair has swept the land. The dreaded Gutain War 
warriors captured the hard-to-find city. Even now, the kind ones are escaping. Some head north. The remainder go south with Theodore the Wise, leader of the city. The seventh crystal has been stolen. The six others are already in the hands of the Gutangs, but Theodore holds the key. Without his half of the medallion, the Gutangs will never gain the power of the crystals. Now I must flee. Farewell on your southern journey, Theodore. I will always remember your words. Only the pure of spirit will find the treasure of knowledge. Those words that are the heart and soul of the great Iliop civilization. Iliop civilization? Iliops invented the uh, uh, crystals? Iliops built the hard-to-find city? And that's where your medallion came from, son? Well, it must be. The crystal book says that Theodore the Wise came south. He must have settled here in Rilonia. But the book also said that some Iliops went north. Well, that means there might still be Iliops somewhere in Grundo, or even Ying. Oh, now you must admit, we've given you every opportunity to knuckle down and pay your dues, like everybody else. Oh, this is your last chance. Don't you see? Uh, no, I mean seashells. Uh, uh, they were gold, but they turned into buttermilk. Oh! Uh, ready when you are, Trudge! <laughs> Can we have a little less noise for the returning of the newlyweds? Oh, LV! Nice to see you! Oh, and please accept my congratulations! Thanks. Now, about this dues rebop, I think you'll find this will cover it. Oh, this will do nicely! Oh, thank you, LB! You can let him go, boys. Meow. Uh, here's your receipt. Uh, 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 not on the horn. Oh, as you wish. Let's go, gang. Hey, your boss, how's it going? I'll never forget this, LB. Never. Mwah. You came to my rescue in my hour of need. <laughs> you gave up all that gold to me. Well, not quite. What do you mean? Show him, Buffy. <laughs> we kept enough to pay ourselves and the boys what you owe us. So starting today, you get a clean slate. Really? Hmm. Well, in that case, do you suppose I could arrange a small loan? With your credit rating? Forget it, twink. <laughs> Once and for all, the name is Tweek! Adventuring we go. Adventuring, oh no. We're off on another exciting journey. Going adventuring, it can sure be all a danger. Full of fun. Adventuring, hee hee. Adventuring, whoopee. You never know what the day will bring, so let's go adventuring. We might discover a treasure or a beautiful princess. We'll probably meet some monsters and get in a terrible mess. But whatever's gonna happen, we will never be able to guess. That's what I like about. I hate about. Adventuring. Adventuring we go. Adventuring, oh no. We're off in another wild goose chase to some ridiculous creepy place. But we'll learn so much before we're done. So let's go adventuring, everyone. Adventuring with friends. Adventuring again. You never know what the day will bring, so let's go adventure. Fun and adventure, let's go adventuring. Adventuring. Oh, Grubby, you'll find it positively, scientifically uh, uh, stimulating. <laughs> <laughs> Gee, Teddy, here I was thinking our adventures were over for a while. Actually, with our new uh, discoveries, it looks like they're just uh, uh, beginning. That's right, Gimmick. We have to find out if there are other Iliops in Grundo. And finally, 
Return all seven crystals to the hard-to-find city. That's why I'll do everything I can to keep the crystals safe. Which won't be for long, Iliop. 